We're here at my Vermi Hut indoor worm bin, and today we're going to be rotating out some of these trays. As you can see, there's four trays here, and these bottom two are inoculating trays. This is the one that's gonna be harvested soon, and this is the one we've been feeding lately. So what we're gonna do is take this inoculating tray right here that's been in here the longest, and we're gonna put it on top and start feeding it. So let's get to it. All right, so we put the inoculating tray on the very top here. And what you can see here is some castings that fell down from the trays above. But underneath, I bet there's just gonna be a ton of newspaper shreds. And that's all we put in here, just a bunch of newspaper shreds and paper shreds. And that is to inoculate it. You put those down here in the tray and all the juices from the feedings and the moisture go down by gravity and they get soaked into the newspaper in this tray. And the worms actually go down here. I'm sure after a few weeks, after it starts to get a little moist, they go exploring. And that's what we're seeing right here. We're seeing a few worms all throughout here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just kind of fluff this up since it's been matted down by two trays above it which were about 10 pounds each. So even though we started with the bedding all the way to the top here over the last 79 days, and that's how long it's been in storage and inoculating down here, over the last 79 days, it's been getting matted down and absorbing the liquid. So I'm just gonna continue to fluff up and then we'll set up a feeding zone. All right, so something that I'm noticing is there are some big, fat, huge worms in here. I mean, I'm finding them all over the place. Nothing like that top feeding tray was, but there's just, you know, big, chunky, fatty ones right here. And these both to me look like, well, this one looks like a blue worm because I can't see its clitellum and probably the same thing here, but that's pretty big for a blue worm. So yeah, it looks like the worms have no problem being down here. And I almost feel like I'm cheating. I mean, all I did was put in some cardboard shreds and voila, the worms came down here and actually started doing some stuff with this because they eat the bedding. But now we're gonna start actively feeding this. So I'm gonna feed down the middle. So I'll just kind of make a trench right here. And we're also gonna add bedding, fresh bedding every time we feed until it gets a lot closer to harvest. And one of the things I wanted to point out if you're new to my videos is this Vermi Hut tray has holes on the bottom of it. And I think they're a quarter inch holes and that's how the worms get up and down through the trays of this worm tower. So in goes our shredded cardboard and newspaper as a little bedding layer and it's completely dry. And what's gonna happen is as we put the food in, this will get moist right there. So here's what we had in mind for a feeding. And all of this food was frozen and I just took it out about two hours ago to let it thaw. But we've got some strawberries, which is fast food, fast for them to eat it. And that will help entice them up from the bottom up to the top. We've got some of my garden scraps, some kales and lettuces and broccolis. We've got some banana peels, which takes them a little bit longer to eat, but they absolutely love it. We've got some whole lettuce stalks. And then we've got some, you may not be able to see it, but we've got some potato peels down here. So this will be a good feeding to entice them up filled with both slow and fast foods. So let's go ahead and put it in. And I'm just gonna put it throughout this trench I've built here. Just kind of spread it out. And I like seeing what I've eaten lately and all the food scraps that I feed means that I've been eating pretty healthy <laughs> and so has my family. So there we go, there's the food scraps that we fed right down the middle. And then some other things that I feed them is coffee grounds and some dried oats. So if you've been watching my videos for a while, you'll know that I ran into a full package of expired oats in my pantry and they had been <laughs> expired for four years. So I pulverized them in a little blender and I've been feeding them to my worm bins and I think I've been noticing the worms getting a little chunkier. So. I really like the fact that they eat these oats. Now that last little part right there is a little more than I, <laughs> I meant to come out. So I'm just gonna kind of shake it up because what can happen is when you put dried material like this, it can get a little clumpy and then it's hard for them to get into it. So I'll just kind of mix it around a little bit here. But here's the coffee we're gonna put in. And coffee is just another food source for them. It's finely shredded 
as it's ground up so they can get to it pretty quick. And again, there's a clump, so I'll just kind of break that up. And finally, because worms have gizzards that they use in their digestion to grind their food up, I add eggshells that I've pulverized again in a little blender that I lay down each feeding, and it's also very useful for my garden. So that right there should be a really good first feeding for this tray, which when I look at all the castings and the newspaper in here and cardboard, it's almost surprising that this is its first feeding. These worm towers are really great bins. This is a vermi hut. And one of the reasons I like them is because they shed any kind of excess moisture from your bin, whether it's from the food or if you add a spray bottle of water, which I really don't hardly ever do in my bins, but it just drains down below. And what I've done is I've done these inoculating bins so that I can store my shredded cardboard and it helps to absorb the water from going down all the way to the basin. In fact, when I moved this around, the basin was bone dry. And because it worked so well last time in the other tray that was in here, I'm gonna go ahead and add some boats to the top. It was funny, I went in here and checked by pulling off the lid and the worms were all on top eating up oats. So I think I'm gonna do this for a little while to help me get rid of some of the oats. And if you like this worm bin, I've got affiliate links for it. You can see how much they cost and how much you know other worm bins cost. I've got some other ones on there. And I've also got links for the different equipment I use. And if you'd enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate you hitting the like button. And if you wanna see more videos, go ahead and subscribe and hit the bell notification icon and you'll be notified when I release a new video. I think that will about do it for this top feeding. I'll put a newspaper on here before I put the lid on and I hope everybody's having a great day and happy vermicomposting everybody. Take care now.